and welcome. I am Agathis and I am online and welcome to Let's Try Sunless Skies. This is another game from the same developers as Sunless Sea. And it is based on the same universe except, as you might imagine, it's set in the skies. This is currently on uh, early access on Steam. Uh, so slightly different costume let's stick with the red theme i think and um some proper whoop, proper flying goggles because we're going into the skies and let's give it a go uh this particular version i'm playing on was last patched at the end of october and i believe there is another patch coming soon uh, they're still developing this so if you, you know, there's the build number down the bottom there if there are some things in this game which you don't recognize, maybe they've patched them or they've changed them. Uh, and I'll certainly be giving my opinions on the game as we go through. Uh, I've had a little play around for 10 minutes just to see what the controls are like. But let's start a new game. Um, the character creation situation is very much stripped down as I understand it. Um, can I just delete those? Let's just delete those. Delete, delete. So now I have to start a new game. The character creation is stripped down right now because it's not um, completed. Um, we will go with a legacy campaign, I think. Uh, no mercy for us. We do get to choose our beginnings, though. Where, Who were you? Today, London lies between the stars. Her new empire unfolds across the heavens. But ten years ago, before the Northern Gate was opened, before the enduring Empress led her people into the skies, it lay in a vast cavern beneath the earth, deep, dark, marvellous. Who were you then? This clearly refers to the events of Sunless Sea, when it was deep, dark and marvellous. Were we a street urchin? A soldier who became a veteran of the blockade of New Winchester. A poet or an academic. At my first playthrough on Sunless Sea, I went with a soldier. And I think we're going to go for the, the Christopher Lloyd, Back to the Future, scientist kind of angle on this. We'll be an academic. A student of the sciences, the arts of philosophy. You were an academic. Perhaps you were educated at one of the esteemed colleges of Benthic or Somerset. Perhaps you taught yourself through trial and error and grit. But what was your field of study? The practical sciences, the language of the heavens, or literature? I think practical sciences is probably our best bet to go forwards with. So, yes, this increases iron. Now, you could see that uh, each of these increases one of our skills, but not not pages for some reason. Okay, maybe that's coming later. Um, and this is our secondary set of boosts, which is Iron Hearts and Veils, which is the th one of the three that you didn't choose on the first time around. And that makes sense. I like that. What does winning mean to us? There's only one at the moment. It's just wealth. Um, it's a placeholder, I guess, and that's fine. Um, you want a comfortable retirement, and by comfortable you mean extravagant. A fine house, servants, land, security. Choose your name. We can have a random name. Or we can be Agathis. Term of address. This will determine what people call your captain, but your captain's gender is up to you. I shall go with Sir, Sir Agathis, I think. Now we have an avatar, and unlike the previous game, you can make your own. Um, I think in the last one there were about 30 or 40 to choose from, give or take. These are all made of different components, so you can choose which one you want. I think we'll... Pick a random one. Um, 
Mm, any, there's no top hats. What on earth is that? That's a nice hat. That's a tentacle hat. That's a top hat. We want a top hat one. Right, the next top hat one that we see. Okay. That one. I'll take that one. That will be me with a big scarf. I'll go and get a big scarf from somewhere for next time. Let's continue. So, our academic. So, our highest skill is mirrors. And our second highest is iron. And that makes sense. And there's no pages quality in this one. Okay. And our game, our, our goal is wealth. We are your associates among scholars and scientists. So maybe that's a sort of a faction thing. Maybe we get bonus points or bonus um, something among academics. That would be kind of cool. Um, let's just see. Right, let's go forwards and start the game. Here's that music. I love this music. A gift for new captains. Sunless Skies in is, is in a preliminary stage of early access. We know that. With many stories and functions left yet to be implemented. As a result, earning money is currently harder than it will be in the finished game. For now, defeat enemies, deliver port reports to New Winchester, and complete stories. Sounds good. Accept disbursement of fuel and supplies. Thank you very much. Two fuel, three supplies, and 50 sovereigns. So sovereigns replace echoes, that's fine with me. Sovereigns makes more sense, to be honest. If, you, if you're going to have a, a currency in a game, you might as well just make it gold or sovereigns or crowns or something. That's fine. The sky, the high wilderness, where stars burn and winds moan and mists drift in ragged folds. The suns make their homes here, and so now too do Londoners, building new lives out in the dark. So this is a set of tutorial information, basically saying, that, well, we can go through. We can go through some of this. Uh, we can visit the bridge and explore our ship and learn how to play. You share the bridge with your driver and your signaller. Yours is the most comfortable seat, of course. Round, steel-clad, cushioned with shining leather. W to accelerate. S to decelerate. A and D to steer. Q and E allow you to strafe left and right. Try out to crash. If you do, you'll damage your hull. Too much damage and you'll die. Fairly standard so far. I don't think I'm going to read all the rest of these now. If you're interested, have a look at them. Uh, you'll get the idea. Okay, let's get into it. So perhaps not. Um, so this is our kind of journal page. We have our ship, our hold, uh, our Byzantium, a spatchcock reclaimed locomotive. This has different slots for things. We have auxiliary, bridge, plating, uh, a diffident bat. That's our, like our sea bass from before, our scouting thing. Our cannon and our shotgun type cannon. These are all the items of what we've got. I like that. It's easy to see what you've got. Hold is 10 of 10. Um, prospect. I'm not sure what these are. Maybe these are sort of quirks or something. We'll see. We have our possessions, whatever we've got. Um, this is our character. So, we are known among scholars and scientists. Peculiarities. These are the other factions, I believe. Um, so, the Independence, the Windward Company. Uh, soul Floors? I'm not sure what that is. Soul appears faintly bubbling in its bottom. I don't know what that is. Um, journal with our log. 
our officers, we don't have any. Our map of the of the reach of the area. Now, you can zoom in and out on this, which is nice. And there are different regions in the game, different bubbles in the ether, so to speak. And um, the only one we can explore right now is this one, the reach, but that's fine. But it's nice to see that there'll be some very clear different places uh, and some clearer borders in this game. And, and our options. There's not much to do on the options. Um, you can set the audio levels and you can set some of the graphics levels and that's about it. So let us go forth. Close, close, close. Forwards and backwards. Turn left, turn right, thrust left, and thrust right. Cool. Now, this is a oh, cruise control C. That just puts you on full speed and you can take your hands off the uh, controls. Uh, normally, when you're, when you're controlling, you have to keep the button pressed. Uh, but if you put the cruise control on, you can take your hands off and it go move, see? Primary fire is shift. That's our gun. Secondary fire is our secondary gun, which is a sort of a shotgunny kind of thing. Right, first of all, I'm going to just get this out of the way. You know, minor complaints about the game already, but you know, let's get this out of the way. Where's my cooldown timers? I want to know how fast this is going to fire. Uh, there's a heat indicator. Every time you shoot, you build up heat. You can see that. Boom. But I want to know how fast these guns are going to fire. Uh, this is going to be really important to me in combat. I need to know this. Uh, unlike the previous game, which had sort of auto-targeting, you've got to do it yourself. And that's going to be... That's going to be difficult. Anyway, let's move forwards. Second thing, there's a lot of stuff on the screen here. I presume that these are obstacles. Let's just check. Yeah, that's an obstacle. Okay, I took a point of damage. Didn't say I took a point of damage. Normally the little log was down here in... Um, well, you know what? This isn't quite right. Let me reset this. The graphics do not look good. Um. Hmm, hold on. Um. This is not broadcasting in a very good way. Why not? It's cut off the bottom of the screen here. Okay, I'm going to have to do something about that for the next episode, but um, I'm going to keep playing for, for now. But anyway, normally it would say took one damage or something. And I don't get that. You just don't. You just take it. Um, and this one isn't. This one's okay. Uh, and I had this problem a little bit on the Sunless Seas game. It can be quite a hard to see what's what's what, but that's okay. Press F to send out your scout, which costs supplies. So you can see the sea back goes off, and you, you just ate up some supplies there. Your bat returns and sulks in its roost. You bribe it with beetles until it admits spotting something of interest. And something appears on the chart. What is this? No clue, but it's something to go for. Okay. Let's go that way. So we're basically driving a train, let's be honest. It's a space train. I thought this game was going to be like a steampunk 
fighter game. Um, Fasa had a, had a game which was sort of steampunk kind of fighters, biplanes and triplanes and things. Uh, I forgot what it's called now. But I thought that was going to be that. But no, it is steam engines. Space trains. So this looks like something. What is this? Gabriel's Archive. Company House. We don't have to mess around with the light on this game. Oh, what's this? What's this? I saw something. I saw something. I saw something to shoot. I saw something to shoot. Where'd it go? There it is. What is this? Okay, I have no idea what it is. Um, in the previous game, in Sunless Seas, when you clicked on something, it told you what you were fighting. Uh, and you knew how many hit points it had. Uh, it doesn't give us that option on this one. I think it escaped. Oh, no, here it comes. Come on, let's shoot it. Oh, no, missed. Um... Right, it hit me and it didn't tell me. I lost loads of hull there, but it didn't tell me. There was no banging noise or anything. Come on. Oh, there we go. Nope, this. My goodness, combat is difficult in this game. Hey, there we go. Our first kill. And when you go over stuff, you actually have to press R to loot it, which is fine. A cantankery. Cantankery. Placated. It is, possibly, dying. Its beady eyes dull. Smoke hisses from fractures in the shell like hot springs on a volcanic tundra. There is a disastrous smell. Um, listen to the Cantankery's last complaint. Songs are st sung in station tea rooms about the dying laments of the age Songs are sung in station tea rooms about the dying laments of the angelless cantankery. To hear it is, apparently, good luck. Gain experience. Drill for the fleshy bits. Apparently, there is eating on a cantankery. Not good eating, but eating. Gain supplies. So this is a heart challenge. 60%. Iron challenge. 100%. Uh, okay. So I like this. This is clearer. This is clearer for what you're going to get out of it. If I do the heart challenge, I'm going to gain experience. If I do the iron challenge, I'm going to gain supplies. Nice and simple. Uh, do we have the hold space? Um, I don't know if we have the hold space. The game doesn't tell me. Before, there used to be an icon up here which would tell you how full your hold, your hold was. It doesn't tell you. Great. Uh, let's go with the 100% one. Success! Good to see that. Your burliest stoker volunteers to operate the drill. She floats out to the calcifying carcass and sets to work. Ten minutes later, you haul her back in, her drill bit broken. The next crew member goes out with a fresh drill. After that breaks, you establish a rotor. Eventually, the burly stoker returns, her teeth chattering, with a cluster of measly organs palpitating in her hand. Your cook does their best. You gain one supplies. Onwards! And this is just the uh, the tutorial stuff again. Cool. Uh, okay, let's go and explore whatever this was then. Resume. Off we go. So we gained supplies. So we got four fuel, four supplies. So you really have to. Um, you really have to know what you're doing on the shooting thing. You've really got to aim for yourself. 
and hope for the best. What's that? What was that? I saw a thing. I saw a thing. I saw a ship. Oh yeah, there we go. Is it a friendly thing? No, oh, it's not interested in me. That's fine. I have no idea what that was. In Suddenless Sea, I would have clicked on it and it would have told me. That might have given me a hint as to whether it was a good thing or a bad thing. Don't get that one here. It's harsh. It's harsh life in space. Right, Gabriel's archive. Okay, this is a port. This is... Here we go, new Winchester. 512 experience gain. This is our experience meter here, which goes up as you gain experience. Oh, this is terror. Sorry. Terror is wary. Excuse me, I thought that was experience. So we have to guide ourselves into here. This is our station. Now I think while we're in station, um, we don't burn fuel or food, which is good. Because in the last game, in Sunless Sea, you had to muck around with being on pause. And if you were if you were docked and you didn't pause it, your shoe just your your crew just ate all your rations, which was no good at all. So I like that. This is New Winchester, which is I guess kind of the equivalent of um, New London or whatever. And there's a lot of stuff here to do. Let's see what we've got. Wolvesty Station. The clamouring central station of New Winchester. By the way, the real Winchester, its station is just called Winchester. But okay. New Winchester. A place of steam and smut and thundering iron. Here you can find people willing to pay for a skilled captain's service. Uh, New Winchester. The smoggy, clanking, singing, stamping, thronging, frantic heart of the Reach. An ever-expanding port of sutters, smudged glass, and bright steel. Um, spitting, spit, spilling across the drifting, mist-wrapped archipelago. Archipelago. Its factories thunder. Its engine sheds ring with hammers and a hiss with steam. Locomotives chug into sidings for repair or flare across the sky and away from the high wilderness. An opportunity. The fastidious inspector. Someone is calling you across the busy platform. Excuse me, Captain. A woman pushes through the crowds towards you. She is short and square-shouldered, in a neat black suit and polished shoes. She shows you the case of her pocket watch. It is embossed with the crown and hourglass of London's horological office, the body responsible for ensuring time is consistent across the empire. I'm hoping to book passage to Port Prosper, she says, slipping the watch away. I can, of course, pay. Paying... Pay sounds promising, I agree. You can have passage. Thank you! The locomotive I was on broke down follow, following a boiler rupture. The chief engineer's fault, I suspect. A gentleman... Fonder of brandy... Oh, a gentleman fonder of brandy than of diligence. Port Prosper lies a long way to the northeast of New Winchester. Not that there is such a thing as the north out here, or indeed east. Instead, London cartographers picked four of the brightest, more reliable stars visible from the Empress New Palace and named them north, east, south and west. Londoners value familiarity. What about up and down? Cool. We've gained 50 sovereigns, new total 100. Um... Again, complaint time. Where's Port Prosper? 
If she wants to go to Port Prosper, she better tell me where Port Prosper is. Saying it's to the northeast does not help. Okay, the northeast is too big an arc, too big a path to be taken. You should at least be able to. If you've got a quest, they should know where you're going, or you should be able to buy the location from a cartographer or something. Um, I spent a lot of time in Sunless um, Sea, wandering around nowhere, trying to find somewhere to the northeast. It lasted for hours and hours I spent trying to find places. That needs improvement. If you want to be taken somewhere, they should tell you where they want to go. Rant over. Right, what else we got? An opportunity, transport a settler. Would-be pioneers clamour at the station, eager to make their fortunes amongst the stars. Okay. One way to Lostrum. Thanking you kindly. By Jove, I think it's finally my time to see the real frontier. She smiles benignly as one of your crew carries her st steamer trunk on board. And if you'd be so kind, could we please do some hunting along the way? I don't know if you read the paper this morning, but the chorus to bees have been attacking again. I'll pay you for the trouble of killing them, of course, but only if you do it quickly and only if you harvest a stinger for me. Alright. Chorus to bees. Have to look out for those. Um, an opportunity. Respond to a distress call. A group of concerned attackers are looking for a skyfaring captain to assist them in recovering a missing friend. Captain! A broad-shouldered tackety speaks for the group. A friend of ours! There are protests. An acquaintance of ours has sent a message from Hybrus. She needs transport back to New Winchester. Would you mind picking her up if you happen to go out that way? She's a film go maker. Goes by the name Mademoiselle Lumiere. She said she'd never return, so I have to assume she's taken ill. It'd be good to make sure she gets back safely. You've been asked to film a filmmaker back to New Winchester from High Brass. Okay. What else we got? Um, speak with the seasoned captains at the engine yards. A grizzled captain who lost... A grizzled captain who lost her left hand to frostbite shares her wisdom. The skies are dangerous. News of distant ports is valuable. Collect port reports from the places you visit and deliver them to Victory Hall or Company House. They'll reward you. And the more you deliver at once, the more they'll pay. Interesting. Look for other opportunities as you go, she says, with, says a Stolom Stoker. There are always settlers looking for new homes, Passengers who want transport or rich men in need of bloody work. That is good, solid advice. I like that. Fully repair the hull. Um, okay. Hmm. See, 100 sovereigns flat fee to repair. Can't I just repair the little bit that's damaged? Okay. Look for potential recruits. We've got 10 crew, I don't think we need any more. Have our hull partly repaired. 10 hull for 50 sovereigns, that would be okay. Purchase a grand house, yeah, that's something to look forward to one day. Retire, perhaps not. Uh, what else do we have? Victory Hall. The Assembly. A coalition of independent-minded settlers, colloquially called Tacketes, gather and argue here. Deliver port reports here to receive rewards and win the Tacketes' favour. Sounds good. Company House. The local headquarters of the Windward Company, London's proxy in the Reach. Deliver port reports here to receive rewards and win the company's favour. So we have different factions here already that we can um, give things to. And um, uh, in, in Sunless Sea, you could give uh, intelligence to different factions, but they were very much enemies. You were committing treason uh, if you did that. 
the new Winchester market. We can buy and sell. Okay, dried tea, stained glass, ministry approved literature, sack of seeds, bronze wood. Cool. Engine provisions. Oh yeah, fuel and supplies. I think we're okay for those for now. Her Majesty's Emporium. Why does that flick across like that? Um, munitions. Chorus to nectar, verdant seeds and bronze wood. Alright, this is another kind of shop. This shop will be only be open so long as the Windwood Company have a hold in New Winchester. Hmm. So, they could potentially be forced out if they... Um, if their quest line goes wrong or something, or you do somebody else's quest line first. Interesting. The Free Winchester Bazaar. This shop will only be open as long as the Tackertees have a hold. Okay, slightly different. The Labour Exchange. Buying crew. That makes sense. Keep it nice and easy. I like I really like the clean design of this interface compared to Sunless Seas. You can instantly tell what's going on. I like these graphics. They're nice and... They're nice... They're, I, I want to say clean again. They are... Yes, they're very nicely done. Abraham's Engineering. That is... Uh, oh, buying bigger guns? Yes. Buying more guns. Yes, cavernous yards, brass raven. That's some sort of shotgunny thing. Um, a rapid firing weapon popular with captains who, volu who value volume over precision. Be careful not to let it overheat. Alright, that sounds good. Damage 24, range 350. Heat 16. Damage 3. Range 650. Heat 4. Okay. Bronzewood shielding. Okay, extra hull. Cozy cabins. Plus 4 quarters. Okay. That sounds cool. So you have different ways now of customising your um, locomotive. Your, your ship. I'm just going to call it a ship. It's a sky ship. You can add... You can add hull, you can add hold, you can add crew quarters. Those are all... That's I like that. That's cool. Engine yard. Ooh, new ships. You can buy new sky engines. The um, What have we got? Have we, I haven't got any of these. The Parsifal class Corsa. I think that's what we've got, actually. What do we have? Oh no, it's none of these. It's even more basic than this. So you get different slots. Large armament slots. Small armament slots. Okay, and different ones. You can only have two though. You have one or more bridge slots. Scout slots, that's your bat. Auxiliary slots. Plating slots. This is cool. Lots of different options here. And what's interesting is... Okay, this is, four, this is 500. This is 1,500. And so is this one. And these are just slightly different configurations. This has got more plating. This has got more auxiliary. This has got less armor. More hold. Uh, this has got more, less hold, more armor, yeah. For the same cost, though. So there's, there's different options, different play styles there. Moloch class liner for almost 10,000 with huge amounts of armor, huge amounts of space, huge amounts of crew. Loads of slots for things. Yeah. That'll be cool later. Um, I would really like to see some broadside weapon slots. I want to do broadsides. I think that's how I would prefer to play it. Um, I want to see different angles for for weapons. 
Alright, for now, I think we will leave it just there. We will come back in another episode and start exploring the Reach. So, I'm Agathis. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, please leave a like and, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Uh, we will continue to explore Scunless Skies soon. I'm Agathis, and I'm going offline. See you next time.